Hey guys, what's up? Zuma here. Today I'm going to be opening up another Y Schwartz deck. Uh, as I said from like my previous uh, Y Schwartz video, I'm new to the game, but since my first opening, I've actually kind of learned how to play. So for the most part, so I know the rules at least. But anyway, we've got a The Idol Master Cinderella Girls Smile Trial deck. I opened up the Power one last time, and Unfortunately, I didn't open a sign card in the power one, but I've got two of this one, so hopefully I will pull a sign card. I'll let you know if I do at the end of the video, um, but we'll just open up one here and just see what we pull. I got rid of the tape around here, but anyway, I love that little picture there. <laughs> it makes me laugh. It's really, it's quite cute. And then, yeah, this basically just tells you what's in the, in the, the, the box here. But anyway, let's get this open. A little tough to get the things behind there. But yeah. There's a lot of like tape and stuff on these, which is a bit of a pain to get through, but it's okay. If you enjoy these kind of like unboxings or Y Schwartz in particular, um leave a like. And also if you have any advice for me or if you just want to talk about Y Schwartz in the comments, just that'd be really cool. Because I'm trying to learn how to play. <laughs> and get good, I guess. But I won't show all this this time because I showed it in the last one briefly, but this comes with a, like a play mat so you know where everything is um, in the game where you play, which I'll be using for a little while. And then um, also a playbook and then a more in-depth rule book. It also has like tips of how to play the deck inside. I might open that up br briefly at the end just to show you what that looks like because it'll be a little different too, compared to the last one because obviously different cards. But let me find the little tag here. I believe there is one. There was one in the last one. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Cool. This is I believe this is a red trial deck, so that's interesting. Um Yeah. Is that a pink or red? Looks red to me, yeah. Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I didn't really get a good tear there. There you go. I'm really liking wide shorts cards, they look, they look really nice. The foils look amazing. You only seem to get one. Hopefully we can pull a sign card though. So, uh, I'll just get them individually. First we have Wonderful Magic uh, Izuki. So she's got 10,000 power. She looks awesome. She's a grade 3 or a number 3, level 3. I believe it's level 3. And she's a music attribute character. So I'm new to this, so sorry if I get some of the terminology wrong. But she works with the other deck I've got, which is awesome. So I can mix and match them and see what works best out of all of them. I'll stop moving it around as much. But anyway, I'll just read her ability out specifically. Continuous. If the number of your other music characters is three or more, this card gets plus 1,000 power. Continuous. The character facing this card gets minus one soul. So I know what that means now. Essentially it means it does... It loses, like, if it attacks you, it does one less damage. And if it only has one soul, it can't do you damage, I assume. And then auto, and it says one there, which I believe is the gauge cost you need to do. Well, I believe it's not called gauge, is it? It's like the cost you do from when you put stuff in the stack. But um, when, a, when a card named highest stage is placed on your climax area, if this card is in your center stage, you may pay the cost. If you do choose a music character in your waiting room and put it and put it on any position on your stage, that's pretty good in all honesty. That's really good. That's really cool. So you basically can get things from the waiting room which are kind of gone. The waiting room's kind of like a graveyard, but it's not really. It's a bit like a drop zone, but you get it back because if you deck out it all goes back. But you basically get to add things from your hand from the waiting room, which is awesome. So, really cool card. Okay. So, that's kind of the highlight of the deck, so. Next, we have three of Gentle Smile Cheery. It's a nice artwork there. She has 500 power. Size zero. Level zero. Oh, I've seen so many Bushy Road games. I keep, like, saying so much terminology because I'm playing, like, different ones. <laughs> Um, producer holding out name card. <laughs> That's a new one. We saw this dude in the last trial deck. 
Uh, sorry, I keep having my... I'm trying to hold them both, so I keep getting things in the way of the power. My fingers. It's got a thousand power. Next, we have one of Miku proposes a showdown. I haven't actually seen this anime yet, but she looks like a cool character. I'm going to be watching it um, now that I've got these decks. That's cool. Oh, here she is. Taking hold of victory, Miku. <laughs> She's cute. That's the funny picture from the front. Definitely probably my favourite. Size zero. It just looks cool. Well, this one's a close... This one is probably just as good, in my opinion. I love this one. The first step, Yuzuki. That's a really nice artwork. That's probably my favourite, actually. 2,500 power. Then we have... Um, four of this card. I'll just put the others to the side. We have four smiling double piece Azuki. So Azuki seems to be one of the main characters, I assume. Pretty cool. Then we also have four of plotting Onzu. <laughs> she looks pretty cheeky. Then we have two of in training Kanako. I like her flavour text, what the heck. <laughs> that sums up my knowledge of this anime. <laughs> 3,500 power, that's pretty decent. Like, from what I've seen, 3,500 is actually really strong. Especially for a size 0. I don't know if it has some sort of cost though, because I didn't read it. But, because I'm not very knowledgeable, I'm not going to try and explain it, because I'm just going to fail at the end of the day. But you guys can see what you get. Then there's... Two copies of Start with 14 Members, Conoco. It's nice. I think there's a fly in here somewhere. Um, we've got one copy of Does Not Wish to Work, Anzu. That sums me up. <laughs> I do not wish to work. Nice artwork. We have another one of, of Does Not Wish to Work, Anzu, but like a different artwork. That's nice as well. I like the way they have the same card, but like kind of different artwork. I'll check if their effects are the same. Hmm. Yeah, the same effect, just different artwork. That's kind of nice though, because if you like a certain one, you can just kind of have that one. Uh, does not wish to work on Zoo again. Sleepy. Four thousand five hundred power. That's size what? Uh, level one though. Then the fourth does not wish to work on Zoo. <laughs> All of the sleepy poses. Then we have, I believe, four of. First job, Miku. It's a nice artwork. And we have two of Start With 14 members, Chieri. Ooh, what else have we got? We're starting on the level twos now. We've got two copies of Determination to, to not do work, Anzu. <laughs> I assume Anzu does not like working. Or she's lazy or something. Sounds like my kind of girl, not gonna lie. Huh, just being dumb now. <laughs> she sounds like kind of my personality sometimes when I'm being lazy. First job, Shiari again. I believe that's a different artwork, just the same thing. Yeah, we got four copies of that one. We have two copies of first job, Kanako. So Kanako does work. <laughs> that's a nice artwork. I don't think we've got a sign card. I believe this would be the sign card if we did. So this is Wonderful Magic Uzuki. Lovely artwork. Non-foil. Obviously. Because it's the common version. Failure? <laughs> That's funny. If you have any tips for me with like mixing like cards, that would be really cool. Because I know you can mix colours. But I don't know the game, obviously, so I don't know what cards would be best to mix together. Because I don't, really, I have one friend who I don't see too often, but I might be able to play with him. But apart from that, I'm a little clueless. So if you could give me some advice, that'd be awesome. Um, and now the climax card is please Cinderella. Please Cinderella. I believe it's the same card, climax, but just different artworks, like last time. That's a nice one. It's like a prom dress or something. Please, Cinderella. I'm guessing it just shows like off all the cast of the anime. I'm definitely going to watch this anime. It's going to be the anime I'm going to watch next. Got to catch up on Dragon Ball Super to start doing those videos again. Because I'm so behind on Dragon Ball. And then I'm going to be watching this. 
Or I might watch some of this and then catch up on Super. Watch like a first few episodes. That's a nice artwork. Then we have two copies of Highest Stage. That's a really cute artwork. I love the uh, shading and like the crap and the highs. That's really beautiful. It's nice because there's loads of different artworks in the other deck as well, and I believe they do the same thing, so it's just kind of choosing what artwork you like the most. And these are the exact same as the ones in the first um, deck open, the yellow power, power Cinderella Girls deck. Same artwork for highest stage, climax card. That looks amazing. That looks really nice. Oh, the flavour text is fried chicken. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. But, yeah. Anyway... I hope you enjoyed that little unboxing. Uh, what opening, I guess you... I, pre I like the word opening more. Unboxing sounds, like, too weird. It's not really a big box. Let me find her. I'll just show you the difference between the hollow and the normal uh, Uzuki. So here's the common version. Still looks very nice. So you get four copies of it if you buy two of the trial deck, which I have. And then here's the hollow version. Hollow one certainly looks the best, though. Absolutely beautiful hollow. Hey guys, quickly before I end the video, I did say I'd, uh, I just remembered, I'd say I'd show the stage off. I can't really get, do too good with this, like, the way I've got the setup, I can't move it back too much. But here is the stage. And then I'll put it upside down so you can see the other side. You guys, if you play the game, you know what it's like, just for beginners. And then there's tips on the back here. I'll just pick up my phone so you can see it a bit better. Um... Yeah, here's the tip sheet. Looks pretty cool. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that. Um, cool, I'll jump back to where we were, guys. Anyway, if you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys soon. Uh, my name's Zuli, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.